and see what that would look like. If you're interested in accessory design, check out my accessory design book. It is a textbook that is widely used throughout the world in various fashion design colleges and it follows the process of accessories from design to prototyping, sketching, illustration and manufacturing. You can find a link to the book in the description below. In this video I will show you a new feature in Close 3D 6.0 version. In this version, um, in the avatars, within the 3d shapes we now have arrangement points so if you go to avatar 3d shape up on that folder you have variety of shapes and i have specifically added some patterns for a handbag so i'm going to open this first 3d shape because that will work with my patterns and you know that you can um, manage the shape and edit the shape however you like and you can choose uh, the various states of the gizmo tool for example if you click on this rectangle here or a square you get this particular gizmo with the hands that you can make it bigger wider so that will fit in whatever shape you're doing but for my particular shape i place these pattern pieces and now that i have this particular 3d shape i can come to avatar arrangement points and turn the arrangement points and you will see that here you have let me just move these a little bit so i'm going to move this pattern piece here up for um just for now so you can see here that you have these blue arrangement points and that you can see you have the front back bottom side and you also have additional arrangement points that are around the 3d shapes and those are made for your convenience so that you can place straps around the handbag you can see and understand better the purpose of those if you come to avatar display and click on show bounding volumes bounding volumes show you which direction are these particular arrangement points supposed to um, give you and you can see that these arrangement points will give you the positioning for a long strap and these particular ones will give you the arrangement for handles that go this way unfortunately they don't give you the arrangement for straps that will be just on the front or just on the back but that is not that important for us this is really helpful and then front back side bottom are also very helpful we do not need the bounding boxes in order to do the arrangement of the pattern pieces. It just helps you understand how this works. So I'm going to come to avatar display and turn off show bounding volumes. And now I'm going to work with these particular pattern pieces and you can see how they work. So this is my front. Let me have the selection tool. This is my front. So I can come click on this and place it here and you can see that it stands where it's supposed to be that's my back piece and um, I can turn on my annotation if you have given names for your pattern pieces so that's the next pattern piece I'm going to place it here and you can see how each particular piece snaps exactly because we do have an arrangement point there you just got to be careful and see uh, which piece goes where so you don't flip flop them to the opposite side and this is my bottom piece and that will go on the bottom and for the handle that's my long strap you can see that you can place it here obviously it's a little bit further away but you can utilize your gizmo tool and you can bring it closer to where the positioning will be and if these straps were going from front to back, you could also utilize these particular arrangement points. If that's not how your arrangement is, you can just bring them closer and position them to the front and the back, depending on which one is on which side, and then do the sewing that way. Then you can utilize your sewing tools, whatever you need. I have already placed my sewing seams, and I also came to the library and within the fabrics we now have a couple of different leathers 
and one is a uh, lambskin and the other one is full grain leather and I have already placed these in my object browser and under material I have designated the full grain leather once you're done with all of that you can come and you can simulate your look and see what that would look like and because I uh, gave it the full grain leather so this bag is standing up pretty fine but you can see here that the sewing uh, went inside and outside and this is pretty dark color this got a little bit twist one stitching is on the inside one is on the outside but we can pull that out and you can also use the gizmo tool and pull out the strap and then simulate again and that will place it on the outside same thing here I'm just gonna grab this with the gizmo tool grab it pull it out so that it will not be laying inside of the bag and then simulate again and also you can help this strap a little bit and help untwist it but the good news here is that we now have arrangement points for all of the 3d shapes and they help us arrange all of these pattern pieces better you can utilize them on all of the 3d shapes that are already in the library if you learned something new like this video and subscribe to bob and talk